Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. How are you today? <laughs> Hi, Miss Judy. Are you excited to read devotions for them? I am. Okay. What's what date is it, Addy? Excuse me. What date is it? July fourteenth. July fourteenth. Can I sit with you? It's July fourteenth. If you want to spend some time dwelling in God's word together and then sharing a devotion with Addie from Christ in her home. We're in the book of Genesis. So you find your way to Genesis. What is it? Eddie? Chapter 18. Come on, help me out. Sweetie. Let me see. Let me see. One to ten. All right. One to ten. Read along if you'd like here in devotion, and then Addie will share a devotion with you. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the oaks of Mamre as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourselves, and after that you may pass on, since you have come to your servant. So they said, Do as I have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Make ready, quickly, three measures of choice flour. Knead it and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them and they, he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is your wife, Sarah? And he said, There, in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season and your wife, Sarah, shall have a son. form of three visitors came to Abraham's home in Mindy, in Mindy Heat, in Midday Heat. Real, though he's quite a agent, agent Abraham sprints from entrance of the tent to meet them. Humbly, he offers out a messenger, offers to say, out a messenger, a meager, a meager meal for his guests. Then he flies into action to prepare a feast. He rushes through the tent and prints to call Sarah to call for Sarah's help. They hurry to prepare the choicest bread, the most tender meat, and water overflowing. Abraham sets um, the food before the visitors who ask where is Sarah? There, Abraham points inside the tent. Sarah turns out. Sarah, it turns out, is listening just on the other side of the tent flap entrance. So it, so it is that she hears the feast of, of God, of promises God has in store for Abraham and through them for the world. At baptism, we brought the entrance of God, to the entrance of the kingdom of God, the threshold of what God is doing in the world. God shows up through pro with promises of life, hope overflowing for us, and through us the world. Please pray with me. O oh God, you move us past the entryway of faith and share your promises of life and hope with all. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you, Addie, and blessings to you all as we share this journey of life and faith. May you pray as this day unfolds before you for all of those in the hospitality field. 
uh, and continue to uh, bear the entrance to God's kingdom through your hospitality and love for others along the journey. God hold you and God bless you.